What's up everyone? Welcome back to the shop. I am kind of in a Halloween mood, so uh, let's scroll saw some creepy looking pumpkins. I gotta start this project off by making the panel that all of our little pieces are gonna stick onto. So I went ahead and sanded down some Wingay boards and some poplar boards to about a sixteenth of an inch thick. So that's gonna be the veneer for both sides of my panel. My panel itself is gonna be made out of MDF because, well, it's stable and it's flat. So I got my MDF, my Wingate and Poplar. Now I need to veneer these on each side of my panel. So the Wingate is gonna go on the show side. The Poplar is gonna go on the back side. You don't really see that anyway, but you gotta veneer both sides of a panel. Otherwise it's gonna cup on you. I'm using Unibon One Glue for this. This is really good stuff. It's specifically made for doing lamination veneering work dries really hard and it doesn't take too long to dry either. It's a couple hours. I like to use a little bit of masking tape just to hold all of my pieces together before I put them in my press. My panel turned out pretty cool. We've got the poplar on the back side that you won't really see and then you got the wingay on the front side. I think the artwork would look best with a walnut background. So I took a walnut board, sand it down to about one eighth of an inch thick. So pretty thin. I applied some contact paper to that board and then I used some spray adhesive to glue my template onto that. Now this template is basically just two sheets of paper because my picture wouldn't fit on one sheet of paper. So I printed off on two sheets, taped them together to make one large template and then spray glued that onto my board. So here we go. Now the thing is, is I want to cut out just the pumpkins and leave all the rest. Okay. So I'm just going to take a drill, drill a little pilot holes in each one of these, cut out the pumpkin, leave the whole background, and then we're going to take the background and glue it onto our Wingate panel. Got the silhouette cut out. Now I'm gonna glue that onto the wing gate panel. I'm just gonna use some tie bond for this and I got a little rubber roller. Makes things way easier. All right, while that's drying, we can start milling up some wood. We need a lot of orange, don't we? It's pumpkins. Our silhouette looks really good. And then I have my orange wood. This I believe originated in Argentina. So it's a really, really beautiful wood, especially when we put finish on it. So I've got my little pumpkins here. They're not very big, so I don't need a whole lot of this wood, but I'm gonna stick them onto my pieces like this, cut each of them out and then glue them into place. Now this wood here is uh, not quite a quarter inch. I think it's more like three sixteenths, something like that. I just needed it a little bit higher than my background here. And my background, if you remember, is one eighth thick. You see how this black around the shape, right? Well, what I did was I cut on the outside of it and then the inside. So I have my black outline here and I can put that into my shape. Then I know when I glue this in, it's gonna be registered perfectly. And as far as the glue goes, I am gonna use a little bit of Type-On and then some CA glue. Remove this dude out. Look at that. I 
I think it's looking pretty cool. We only got a couple more things to do, which is do the hat on the middle jack-o'-lantern. Well, the hat is probably gonna be dark, right? So I've got a piece of wenge here, and this is slightly thicker than the pumpkin, because I figure if it's a hat, it's gonna kinda hang down over your head. So I've got that ready. And then the hat has a band and a buckle. So I've got some purple heart here for the band, and I've got some maple for the buckle. Now these are slightly thicker than the hat, because, you know, they are on top of the hat. So it's just, it provides just a little bit of relief. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut those pieces out, stick them onto our board here, do a little bit of cleanup work, then we can apply finish. pretty happy with how it turned out. Now we need a frame for this. Now I always like to make my own picture frame. So I did make one. This is out of Brazilian cherry that I had sitting over in the shop. Just a couple pieces of scrap wood because you don't really need a whole lot for this. So I went ahead and cut that, made my own frame. Now if you're interested in making frames, I've got a ton of videos over on my main channel that show how to make frames. I can always include them in these types of videos. Just leave me a comment below and let me know that's what you're interested in and, and I'll include it next time. But that looks pretty good. I'm gonna glue this panel into the frame so all this is gonna be one piece. And uh, wipe it down with some mineral spirits just to kind of clean it up, vacuum it, make sure I get all the dust off, and then we're gonna apply finish. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of any build, which is applying that first coat of finish because I think it's gonna make all these colors look really cool. All right, we're gonna use teak oil, super simple. You flood it on, let it soak in for like a half hour, add a little bit more, let it soak in, wipe it off, good to go, done. I'm gonna start by using a brush and getting inside all the tight areas first. Right in that guy's eyeball. This is a really forgiving finish. So it's not like applying varnish or shellac or something where you have to worry about having brush marks, overlapping marks. This stuff's just gonna soak in and then we're gonna wipe off all the extra anyway. So you don't have to worry about all that. For the rest, I'm just using a paper towel here. Dip it in, wipe it on. If the wood seems thirsty, then I'll apply a little bit more to those areas. And then hit this frame too. All right, let this soak in. I'll come back, add a little bit more, and then wipe off all the extra. I really like how this turned out. I know my process for this is a little bit slower because I do the panel with all the glue ups and stuff, but if you cut that process out and just took these pieces and glued them onto a regular board, this is something you could easily do in a weekend and it looks really, really good. I feel like I had to say what my favorite one is and it's gotta be the one over on the left, the one with a really creepy laugh. I don't know, it's just creepy enough. That's my favorite. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to get in your shop and try to make your own scroll saw art. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the video up here. I think you might like that one too. And to meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome. See ya.